Remember when everything seemed so magical as kids? Recently, I've been pondering why this mystery to life and excitement about life kind of deteriorates as we start aging and going through life. Within the past two years, I have done a lot of introspection and I'm actually noticing this childlike energy is now coming back in me. The other day, I was laying on the hill with my fiance and just staring at the clouds. We were cloud watching. We were literally looking at the different shapes and I just realized like oh i haven't felt like this since i was a kid just spontaneously going to a hill and just rolling down a hill and just you know chilling out having fun in life in this video i'm going to be breaking down exactly what i did what i'm continuing to do and what you can do to become genuinely happy and content person for a while i wasn't even sure that existed anymore i was in a really dark place in my life honestly i thought the real world you work retire and then die <laughs> The first thing is have a mindset shift about happiness. We always were taught that happiness meant having certain things. Only if you achieve this thing will you be able to be happy. Eh, wrong. Like this body is almost like an avatar and our soul is kind of like energy. If you think of it like that, you will understand the law of attraction because whatever frequency that our energy is vibrating on will attract other things that are on the same frequency. So if you're like constantly someone who's always feeling guilty and shame and regret, then you're on a lower frequency and naturally those things that are gonna cause you to feel that way are gonna come into your life. Having that mindset shift about happiness means that you are content with the way things are right now. You understand that you can choose to be happy right now. Be grateful for all the little things. In my journal, I write down five things that I'm grateful for and I've been doing this every single day. These things can include grateful for my house, grateful for waking up today, grateful for my loved ones, whatever you want. Mindset shift. Number two, mindful eating, y'all. I talked about this in one of my TikToks. If you zoom out of the situation, we work on this planet so we can feed ourselves and we have a home. It fumbles my mind that now we're always rushing to eat and eating is like a chore because we have to get to work. But it's like, aren't we working so that we can eat? We're getting brainwashed to think that we need things that we really don't need. Mindful eating means you're in the present moment tasting the food you're eating. Next time you sit down and you're eating something or even making the food, cutting the vegetables, do not have anything on in the background. Don't play a YouTube video. Literally just focus on the task at hand and you will start to notice that this is quite therapeutic. You're slowing it down. You're just being completely present. And then when you taste the food after, be very grateful about the food that you're eating because that is what mindful eating is. And we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the food that was being provided by mother nature. Mindful eating. Observing nature. I don't know what it is with these damn trees and these plants, but it has magical healing powers, okay? Feeling the wind really hit your face. Obviously, these things happen over time, but you have to force yourself to just go for those walks outside. Nothing's really that big of a deal. Sure, you have a lot of deliverables due at this specific time. Sure, you got this exam or whatever coming up. Those things will get done. It doesn't mean that's your entire life right now, though. It shouldn't be, and this is so much easier said than done, so I understand that it's not easy to implement these things, but this is why these steps are really gonna help. Number four, meditation and breathing techniques. Yes. There are hundreds of videos on YouTube. The easiest way I can tell you guys to get into meditation is again, through just nature. Just go outside, go for walks, that is meditative. I did the Isha Kriya from Satguru for quite a while and then I went for Vipassana, which was a 10 day meditation course and that taught me a lot about meditation as well. General sort of meditation slash breathing techniques regime that I do in the morning that suits me best and it always changes according to what I need because now I'm very in tune with my body and one day you will be too, don't worry. When it comes to breathing techniques, there's quite a few each one serves a different purpose. The one that I've been doing right now, breathe in through one nostril and then breathe out through the other and then breathe in through the same nostril, just breathe it out from and then out through the other and do this for like two minutes. In order to be happy and content, with your life, you need to be able to feel content and happy inside. We keep relying on external things, but if we are able to find and cultivate a peace inside of us and learn tools to cultivate this happiness and this peace, then you will be content with yourself. Oh, that's so cheesy, but cheesy things are very true. Be present with other people. This was something I struggled with. I actually went into a little bit of an isolation phase in my life within the last two years, simply because I felt like no one else really understood what I was going through and a little bit of depression, just some darkness. Being with other people, 
and being fully present and listening to other people is very important to feel grounded and realize that you actually have everything that you need. You are unconditionally loved. Don't be on your phones. Oh, I hate it. I hate it when people are on their phones. I literally call out my cousin all the time. I'm like, bro, we just sat down at this restaurant. Why are you pulling out your phone? Because we are humans and as humans, we are social species. Be present next time you're out and about. I hope these five tips really helped you and I hope you guys start implementing these right away because the more we can get humans around this entire world to be happy and content, their vibration will be higher and if their vibration is higher, then they will spread the happiness to others instead of having a bunch of miserable people running around the place spreading their misery to other people which is the current situation of this world. I am a, what's it called, an empath so I feel a lot of these emotions. Happiness does exist. You can be content with yourself and using these five ways, I assure you, you will be on your journey to finding your higher self. If you enjoy content like this, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video in Arizona. Much love to you all.